Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerman back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about having Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp in a natal chart. Now, the fourth house in astrology represents the sector of life that is associated with home and family, emotional security, the end of life, roots, traditions, the mother, uh, or the less dominant parent. I very strongly believe it is the mother because of the correlation with the moon and the zodiac sign cancer. There are some people, though, that believe it's the father, and that's their prerogative. Now, also, uh, the zodiac sign that is on the cusp of the fourth can give characteristics to matters pertaining uh, to the fourth house, and if we look at the planets that inhabit the fourth house can also flavor that house. Now, if we look at the, also what's significant is the ruler of the fourth house and see what house the planetary ruler of that house is posited in because this can show uh, the area of life where that matters connected with the home are injected into. Now, Transits and progressions are also significant, especially if the person has an empty or vacant fourth house, as this can signify greater activity in matters connected with the fourth house. Well, anyway, people, first thing I look at, if you have Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp, well, the home may be a place where philosophy, uh, religion may have figured uh, very prominently, the home life may have been an atmosphere where this person uh, expressed a lot of exuberance, a lot of enthusiasm, uh, effervescence. Even, let's say, in most cases, the person that has, or at least in many cases, the person that has Sagittarius on the fourth house will have Virgo rising. And even Virg Virgo rising, uh, despite being perhaps uh, being an earth sign, very stolid and can be serious, this is uh, somebody that, even even with Virgo rising, Sagittarius on the fourth house, this person may show a really strong, expansive, and optimistic side of him or her that generally isn't expressed uh, as strongly outwardly. will show this, will show uh, this side in the home perhaps very strongly. Now, this could be uh, the fourth house uh, represents, at least in my opinion, the mother or the not as dominant parent. And uh, this person may have been perceived or is perceived as somebody that is expansive, philosophical, can be, may be blunt and outspoken, someone to speak his or her mind, uh, a person that may be uh, religious, and somebody that may uh, have strongly emphasized a college and, and higher education. And the family could be, perhaps, uh, since the fourth house is connected, uh, what we look at this as, as roots and traditions, maybe uh, the family itself may be uh, associated with lawyers and uh, maybe there this person goes into a, in, in some isolated cases into a family firm maybe uh, professors perhaps teachers of some kind as people that might teach uh, maybe profound subjects and things connected with uh, higher thinking uh, perhaps uh, having Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp well also, we have to uh, look at this. The Sag uh, fourth house is connected with the end of life. So perhaps uh, this person may experience uh, maybe more joy than the average person in their latter years. Uh, expansiveness, optimism, being upbeat. They may uh, really maybe th not thrive necessarily on, on old age, but perhaps this person is able to deal with it and, and perhaps uh, deal with it a little bit better than the average person uh, entering that, that latter phase of his or her life and uh, really may, might maintain a very good and upbeat attitude uh, during this period. May uh, The outdoors may still figure strong, maybe sports. This person might be active, uh, active participant, maybe in sports on a recreational level, even in the latter years uh, to some degree. This person may be more adaptable to 
uh, say for example like a hotel like I'm in that's I guess you could say an outdoor hotel yes I'm inside but when I open the door it, I'm outside so I kind of consider that like an outdoor hotel well person that has Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp may be more adaptable to homes uh, like that having the windows open uh, more frequently perhaps than the average person this person may uh, feel at home so to speak with maybe traveling uh, going going to many places uh, long distance journeys whether by ship or by plane or or perhaps both uh, taking expeditions exploration these are the things that this person may feel uh, at home with so to speak so this could be uh, something where uh, the family themselves this person might engage perhaps in, in outdoor activities with the home uh, matters with the home and I guess you would say with the family uh, perhaps uh, sports even at least on a recreational level uh, with family members this might be somebody that uh, enjoys the outdoors with people that are in uh, in their family and I uh, look at this uh, as well and the fact uh, that this is uh, the, the fourth house uh, is associated with one's emotional security as well perhaps uh, higher education uh, sharing abstract thoughts uh, philosophies the higher mind uh, these things may be tied into one's emotional security and maybe perhaps uh, being outdoors for a certain amount of time at least fairly consistently these might be tied in uh, to the, the person's emotional security being able to expand uh, the horizons uh, go beyond what what this person it, it, I guess you could say when I say expanding horizons reaching out maybe for bigger and better things always uh, being being progressive and not uh, not being confined uh, perhaps to one way of being and, and, and doing the same thing uh, day to day. It's about uh, expansion and this could be very well tied into one's uh, emotional uh, security. So anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for having the zodiac sign Sagittarius on the fourth house cusp in an natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about having Capricorn on the fourth house cusp in the natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.